Sri Lanka is recognized among the world's 25 major biodiversity hotspots. The island is located towards the southern part of India and its climate makes it home to wide varieties of flora and fauna species. The existence of many flora and fauna species of the island is facing threats due to intense use of chemicals in agriculture. Agriculture is the main source of income for a majority of Sri Lankan people and rice is the staple food. Out of 2,000 indigenous Sri Lankan rice varieties, only five are cultivated at present. High-yielding crop varieties have become popular as they provide an increased harvest. Chemicals from pesticides, weedicides and fertilizers have started depositing in the soil. Chemical intensive farming practices have affected the country's ecosystems and biodiversity. As a result, the chemical, physical and biological composition of the soil has changed and water is polluted. However, the highest toll is paid by farmers who work in close contact with chemical fertilizer and pesticides. Poor diet, polluted water and contacts with cadmium, arsenic and lead cause widespread chronic kidney disease among farmers. ICEI, Overseas and Ecowave are contributing to rural development in Sri Lanka by promoting a sustainable approach to agriculture with particular attention to rice and spices production. These interventions aim at improving the livelihood of farmers through production and marketing of healthy food. These projects have involved 200 paddy farmers and 200 spice farmers. ICEI, Overseas and Ecowave are supporting a team of researchers who patented a biofertilizer using a microorganism present in the environment. In order to ensure access to the biofertilizer for a wide number of farmers, the three NGOs intend establishing a non-profit biofertilizer production unit. Local farmers can therefore pass their knowledge to future generations about environmental friendly farming not harmful to health. Chemical fertilizers, pesticides and weedicides will no longer dominate the agricultural sector. The eco-friendly concept is gaining wide popularity in the island, merging science and tradition and increasing income for farmers.